skill at Dota, you will be in a low bracket. If you're a high skill at Dota, your MMR will be high. Like Dota is really good, and you can look at the top teams and see that the same people are winning over and over and over and over again. It's the same people. Uh, and then with a lot of these other games, there's a little, there's a lot of randomness to it. But with Dota, there, there isn't. I it don't feels like once you reach a certain level, like you're just, you're up there. It's yeah. like very hard to unseat the kings, sort of thing, you know. I don't remember exactly why I got into that. Do you remember <laughs> why? Why did I bring that up? Uh, we were talking about who was playing what and where. Secret. And secret. And Zai. We were talking about Zai. How I think Zai is like one of the best. Method to the madness, right? There's a there's a method to the madness because it, Dota's a game that is very good at uh, you know showing that people are skilled, well, basically. Mm -hmm. like, I, I completely agree with what what Cinderin was mentioning on that podcast. Normally, normally. <laughs> Should I say that word? I was going to say it out loud. Yeah, you can what say it. Gringiada? What, what, what does that mean? Gringiada is like a foreigner kind of thing. Oh, okay. I remember the first time, I think um, someone wrote Gringa Caster when I was casting like a uh, a match. And like I was like, oh, like I felt like bad. I was like, oh, am I that like like that much a foreigner? And they're like, no, no, no. It just means like a North American kind of thing. Like North okay. American English speaking caster sort of right, thing is right. what they told me. I don't know if it's true, seconds. but I definitely was just like, oh, they're now calling me a gringa. <laughs> with the O at the end. Am gringo? I, is That's boy. That's boy? Gringa yeah, I'm not is, sure. Is I'm not female. sure how it works with um, Brazilian Portuguese because the rules are different. This is where we need sword here. Oh, uh, sword. I hear sword is like so much fun. Right there. To like, to play with. I've been told he's such like a positive player. Oh, he seems like he'd be fun to play with. Yeah, I think, uh, who was I? Was it Hiko I was talking to about that? Oh, they play together? They used to be on the same team. The really? Yeah. Begins. Cool. Oh, sword. Oh, no, I'm talking swordfish. Oh, you're talking swordfish? Yeah, you oh, mean okay. The sword. I was talking about the sword. The sword. Yeah. Okay, okay. I don't know. I don't know the sword that well, but I hear. Gotta, I hear, I hear great dude. things. I hear great things. I've heard very. I've heard he's like super fun to play with. I've heard he's a good guy. Duster I, with I'm the all chat, it. sir. Please. What does do? So, what is that? Uh, bad luck, I think. Cause boa sorte is good luck. Oh no. <laughs> I don't know if like they they missed the run or something. That's why he's riding. <laughs> when did Duster get so sassy? Is my question. He's, he's mad at the Europeans coming into the South American scene. I know <laughs> he, that. He was not happy about that in his tweet. For I sure. saw him using some words in his tweets. Ah, uh, yeah. He's not happy about infamous. Yeah. From I what know. I understand. But you know that's the, that's the way she goes in Dota. Sometimes it be like that. It just be. It just that's be. just the way it be. It just be. What's Gunner doing here? He's just. Oh, speaking around. of what's Gunner doing here, we have a husky mid on Sand King. Okay. And then they have an off lane uh, lead Why? On why MJW. did they put? Yeah, I noticed that during the uh, the pick, f the picking phase. I was like, this looks a little weird. Like, I'll why did I'll they? Ask maybe because they I'll wanted ask them to. After their game. <laughs> that's <laughs> that's the only. Maybe they figure like a double ranged is a better matchup here to like try to deal with Golem, try to shut him down. Uh, early. It's it's also possible. Like I know Husky's not a carry player. He's he's a five role support player. That's they okay. just got him as a stand in. Yeah, so yeah. He's playing he's playing carry. Maybe, uh, and I know that he was playing with uh, Jube and Nusham, mm -hmm. and they played in some qualifier. But he was playing off lane, so maybe he just feels more comfortable in off lane than he does on carry. So they just you know put him as an off lane or mid. Perhaps. And, and give Gunner like the traditional carry role. Because it, it, it is a specific thing that you have to do to be a carry. Just completely hard farming the whole game and having that one power spike that you don't mess up. I think it's so boring. I'd much rather play, I mean, I do play support. Because oh, I, agree. I just I enjoy like being able to roam, make things happen on the map. Oh, completely. I completely agree with you. I think carry's so boring. I started playing carry at the start of uh, 7.20, and it was actually going well, but I was so bored of the game. I was not looking forward to playing. It's like I was hitting jungle creeps for 25 minutes and then fight once. Yep. In pubs especially, it's like your team just feeds while you're, while you're jungling, and it's just so <laughs> stressful. It's so stressful. You sound stressed just talking about I'm it. I'm seriously getting stressed. Dota's a stressful game, unless you're playing offline. Then it's just bliss. It's <laughs> so much fun. You get to mess unless with you have slack screaming, hit the rage creep, Moxie. <laughs> I still hold that, that 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 is definitely on him as a lion. A lion should be securing range creeps with. It's done. Look, he's, look at this. Bottom lane. Oh, very nice. Be able to chip through some of Golem's health here. Like using your stun to manipulate the creeps, like get last hits on range creeps or push the wave if there's a double wave coming into you. These things are important as a support. They are. They are. I feel like this has got to be pretty rough for Husky, though, because the uh, Spirit Siphon's so good against any sort of melee heroes. But he, you know, he, he is an invis hero, so it's... 
They've got a sentry down, too. He's a sentry. He can win the sentry battle. He just needs to place it down. He does place it down. Oh. oh ho, ho, ho. Uh, what are you quelling? I don't know. Oh, did he quell an yeah, observer Yeah, looks ward? like there was a sentry over oh, on the side, too. Oh, he got an observer too. ward. Uh, to be completely frank, I would absolutely quelling the observer as well, just because of the greed factor. Mm -hmm. <gasps> Free gold! And then you don't have the quelling for the sentry, and it's like, oh, wait a minute. <laughs> that was the point of this. Killing sentries just feels so bad. Like, I wish this was a ward, and I could just hear the kachin I know, noise. I know. That 100 gold. And they, they changed it now, right? You get more gold now for clearing yeah, out oh, Mario. Oh, yeah. And XP, too. Yeah. He's going to be able to pop that aphotic. Duster trying to get close enough here. They're not going to be quite fast enough. The bad is, of course, just so very, very quick attack. We see that taunt, and there's it. There's the Fade Bolt coming out. Level two and they were so close here. Like, uh, if you see MJW, just got to kill on Golem. Turn back around, put a little bit more pressure on the corner. He killed a Morphling? Yeah. I guess we need double stun with Alina. Well, he was sitting low already, remember? Because they already landed their combo. Yeah. That uh, long... That long-term harass game pays off, pays dividends. Well, they've also got to be careful now because once Noides gets his uh, level three, right? Oh, and this is going to be a dead wolf. I think. Yes. Yeah, wolf no? really loves a blightstone. Look at him go! Look at this little lion. Blightstone. The bravest lion. little lion that ever lived as a wolf. He's a lion wolf. He's going to be a dead wolf soon. I don't know. He's uh, he's he's living. He's living his life. I mean, this is a lot of space. This is so much space. This we is talked a lot about, of space. Uh, yeah. Look at this. Look at this. Bye bye, deuces. Oh my god. <laughs> Lion wolf. <laughs> oh, more like I'll walk all the way back to the bot lane. He's missed two creep waves from this. That is and that's on the bounty runes, too. <laughs> so MJW gets one of them, but still. Yeah. Not a good timing to make that mistake. To be fair, they did split them up, though, right? Mario got one, MJW got one, and then Nuages and Duster each got one. So it's not like the worst. It's not. No, it could have been. You still managed to get that even split. Right. But you right. could have gotten more, possibly, if I you just were like chasing you, a lion through right, your woods. Like you could maybe get three if. Especially w the line was back, so. Like, the line had to leave anyway, so you actually could have secured three. Because the Lena can't contest an Oracle plus a Morphling. Actually, maybe he can. He's a little five. But then again, he's five because of what just happened. Lena had free from in the lane. Does feel like Gunner's struggling quite a bit here. He's top lane. Luckily, he does have the abad, and he's going to be able to keep healing them up. But they're really just very aggressive, and I do like this coming out from the side of SG. I feel like putting a lot of pressure on this PA is is very very important for them right now. I don't I don't get how Spear Breaker pressures a PA. I, I, I think that I feel like this is the Rubik that's putting on all the pressure up here, just with the constant zaps. But I also think too, like you know, an abad constantly, right? He's going to want to use that that mist coil and he's gonna get lower and lower and lower and so the second that it gets too low oh bottom line nope not just yet they're gonna have two different forms of burst damage coming out from the side of bang bang here oh yeah this you got the finger you got a laguna blade yeah this is a hard morph game even yeah. sand king is extremely good against some morphling mm -hmm. like if you can get a an epi burrow on him he's just dead even just a even just a burrow just a straight burrow into lena q like uh, Morphling can die. He needs to stand, stay the entire game at like at least 700 X, uh, HP, which feels really bad because you want that low HP so you can farm really quickly with the Agi. The top lane is just like a series of taunts back and forth between the PA and the. the what uh, else is there to do Mara. on both those heroes? You're just sitting there yeah, right Yeah, it creeps clicking. and you wait until the Abaddon gets low enough so that you can charge at him, possibly. I don't know. Yeah, I mean, the. Creep wave is at least right in front of Gunner's tower, so he's very comfortable with this. Abaddon yeah. can just keep healing him. And that's exactly farms. what he keeps doing. Yeah, this is the problem with playing aggressively on a Spirit Breaker, is that you're tanking the creeps and causing the creep wave to push. So... Yeah, that's he's going tied in CS right now with this, uh, this PA. Again? I, I do feel like this is a pressure lane, though. Like, PA, PA having the same CS as a... Spirit Breaker here is, is bad for the Radiant side. Like, I think PA should be getting completely Dumpster. domed on up here. MJW, he's looking. He can't find Noages, though. He's just juked him out. Uh, Wolf. He's trying to chase after him. Eight minute runes are coming up here at Laguna! And that's a dead golem. <laughs> that was actually just a Dragon Slave Laguna. Yeah. He just, just wasn't sitting high enough HP. That is I mean, MJW is is quite the player here. If if anyone can carry Cran Cran to the semifinals, or was it finals? It was finals, right? 
for an ADCL? It was the finals. It was the finals. Yeah. Oh, good. Crips one coming out from arms. Won't be able to dodge that uphill. Morphling just needs to sit on higher HP. He also needs a raindrop. Golem actually came top here. He's going to try to help put the pressure down here on Gunner. It's going to be the rotation coming out from MJW Husky. He has himself at uh, Haystrune. Can they find the kill over onto Duster? It's looking pretty good as they land the stun over onto two. The jump forward here. Gunner should be able to get himself a kill on Sexy Fat. It's actually MJW this time. So we'll lose both of the heroes here in this top lane. They'll force the Morphling back. And that was a full, f was that a five-man rotation? No, no, it no. It was, it was. But no. It was. Yeah, no, no, it was. It was. Because PA just went bottom. Yeah, PA just TP went bottom. Husky okay. walked top, and then he... Yeah, the haste room. He went back mid with the TP. I, I actually have been playing a lot of um, Sand King mid lately, just because this hero... Oh, I'm playing. Yeah, You're sexy right fat. Going to go follow up with the light strike, right? But they've got the lift, oh, and so there's going to be that new coming up. Nojes, Duster gets the kill. Sand King as a mid laner actually works out really nicely because the hero pushes out lanes with the sandstorm. You completely free farm. I mean, any lane you free farm with Sand King. But then because the lane is pushing, you can get all the runes, and then you can go gank with Burrow. It's actually a really good mid laner for you know playing that tempo controlling role. The only problem is then you end up with two off laners. But because the Lina is their off laner, it actually makes sense in this game. Uh, Role-wise, job-wise, when it comes to the mid to late game. Mm -hmm. They have the damage dealer, the, the scaling hero, and the Lina. She has less levels, but I don't know. You could argue Sand King with levels is actually better than a Lina. You know, eventually I mean, this get Lina's levels. getting work done in the bottom lane anyway, so yeah, yeah. I think you're pretty happy. Although, Dizzy Gunner has uh, made his own rotation. He'd like to have a little bit more farm than what he's been getting top. And uh, Golem also doesn't feel very keen on going forward here. It's a good thing that they have the Abaddon, being able to just keep on sustaining the PA. She doesn't have to leave that lane. MJW, though, they do see the charge coming out from Sexy Fat. Going a little deep here. Nice light strike array. Not going anywhere. And the oh, man, they find a kill over onto arms. As now Noaja is trying to run himself away, trying to heal himself up. But there's just so much damage coming out here, Jenkins. There's no way that Noaja makes it out. In fact, that last dagger will be the death of him. And that was basically just two teams making a rotation to like one of the aggressive bounties at the 10 minute mark. Mm -hmm. And um, one was just like more well played than the other. Like the Spirit Breaker, I mean, uh, level five Spirit Breaker charging is not going to kill Alina that's uh, this farmed. Golem has been in every lane now trying to find farm. He's having such a rough game. He just gets pushed out of we the just lane him by the DP. I was going to ask, do we just send him to the triangle? But they actually have a ward over. Yeah, this is really good warding. This is so smart coming out from the side of Bang Bang. MJW is going to walk up and Laguna him if he's not careful. Yeah. Very careful. I would like to see. So, Arms has been holding on to this exorcism. I'd like to see him maybe put some pressure on the map using that for towers. He just used it for the fight bot. Okay. But uh, died instantly, so. That's probably why we didn't see that much come off yeah, of it. Yeah, yeah. It's unfortunate to have to defensively use an exorcism. It almost always feels like a mistake. Oh, yeah. You never want to be easy. It's kind of like, uh, like anytime you have an oh shit moment where you like really feel like you need to like ravage your exorcism or something. Exactly. I was about to say it's like a it's like a defensive ravage because once that's down, there's no longer that threat. Right. Like you, they're like, okay, well that's down, and they didn't get that much off of it, so we can just run back in again. Like your life is actually less important than the cooldown. In, yeah. In a, in a lot of the, cases. It's the psychological case, right? Just knowing like, oh, I have this. Your hero's dead. I have this particular, you know, massive ultimate that can just change around a team fight, but if Radiant's that's not present on the map, that threat, yeah. you feel so much more comfortable. It's like, it, I am strong because I have this. I feel like since I am strong, I should not die, yeah. so therefore I need to use this. Like, well, no, because then you're not strong when you respawn, you, even if you're alive, because mm -hmm. you don't have it. Husky on the top lane. They're trying to set up on him. They have the Spirit Breaker ulti. I don't know if they have the damage to go Husky, though. He's very... Very tanky. So they just They're going to go for MJW instead. And they should be able to get it. That's going to be Golem getting himself a kill. They use the dust. They still see Husky. Again, though, he's very, very tanky. Managed to get the Aphotic Shield, though, stolen. It's going to be a really nice treat here to keep uh, Golem alive. And that's a lot of sustain. Another dust coming through here. They're still keeping tabs on Husky. will be able to purge off the shield. So nice to have that purge. He can just sit here and infinitely defend this. This is really, this is one of the big reasons I think Sand King is a, an extremely strong hero, is the fact that he can take the extremely unsafe position like this mm -hmm. and just push out a creep wave infinitely. Like, this is just an infinite lasting sandstorm. It doesn't end because he just refreshes it. So you, you actually can't push this without killing the Sand King, but you can't kill the Sand King because the Abaddon's there to, to purge off the dust. So you need a sentry to kill him. It's so awkward. So they have a sentry on the Oracle, but... Even then, Sand King can just kind of walk out of the, the Sandstorm. This is, it's honestly one of the main reasons the hero is extremely difficult to deal with. 
he's like an invis hero when it's least suits you, and then he's not an invis hero when he's dusted, because he just walks out of it. Lion? Yeah, Lion's able to get out. So I have a question for you, because I'm looking at Gunner, he's looking at getting himself, I think it's uh, showing a battle fury. Yeah, yeah. Is that necessarily what they want to do? Because I feel like over time, this Morphling is just going to get stronger and stronger. And the Death Prophet now, too, with the Ags, it feels like she's a lot stronger, too. It's, late game. it's true. It's, it's like um, where a team has like a mid-game timing and they'll still go for a Battle Fury on something like a Void versus an Anti-Mage. Okay. Um, or a Void versus a PL, something like that. It's it's kind of so like when you do hit that timing and you do want to end early, you just hit it way harder. Okay. Uh, that's that's the way I see it. Like, PA is the only hero that can farm at that speed in this game. Like, Lina and uh, Sand King want to run around and fight, so... Ooh, the jump forward here. They don't have a save for the Death Prophet, but at the last second, they will be able to get it, and they'll be able to take down Husky, and they're still going to try to keep Arms still alive here. MJW, he's going to get burst down by the Oracle. Can they get the kill on the Abaddon? He's tanking up a lot of damage. They get the tower. They're still chasing him, though, trying to slow him down. Spirit Siphon going to come out, and they had that Burrow Strike over on Duster. They'll be able to take down Mario. Space for Gunner. I thought that they weren't going to make that false promise. I thought for, like... Like if they were a second too late on that. I thought that I thought that the line finger was gonna come out during the Fates Edict. It was it was like a perfectly timed finger, but then a perfectly timed promise as well. Right. Ten percent HP. Oh, that's sexy fat. Gunner's he's, 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 uh, he's pretty fine. scary. He's got a medallion. He's a tanky boy. That's a big sacred cow. <laughs> a giant medallion. He's good. Alright. I don't a hundred percent see where the spear breaker fits into this lineup. Maybe they just wanted someone who kind of creates chaos. Because he hasn't he hasn't attack. really done that much in the laning phase yet. Like, well, the laning phase is over. I'm, I'm thinking also maybe they thought that Dyer's the Lina was going to be going mid, so that way it's a, it's an easy way to gank. Right, sending yeah. the, the space count. But it's a core. I guess they probably pivoted it to be a core, maybe, and that's not what they were thinking in the first place. Ooh, the cavalry's coming here, Nwajis. Slow down just a little bit here. He is healing up. Wolf, gonna be able to go, connect with that Earth Spike, and uh, Duster has that Burrow Strike. He's gonna try to jump on in, does manage to get himself a steal here Ooh. as they take down the Lion. Again, they have that ultimate prop, and Wajis is actually still alive after all is said and done. It's gonna be a double Whoa. kill coming this out for Arms. Newell. Thanks for playing Dota 2. Double Thanks. Kill. I, who's I'm Dota 2. Yeah, who? Oh, I'm hearing the game announcer. What's the, what is the announcer, though, that does this? The game Newell. That's just the game. Oh, the game. Oh, oh my oh, gosh. Because yeah. I noticed that earlier. I was like, that's a double kill. It's funny because his voice is actually so iconic that you're like, who is that? You know it. Yeah, oh, it's exactly. Gabe. It's, it's Gabe. It's just Gabe. It's Gabe. Yeah. Ooh, they'll turn back around. Laguna's going to get used over here onto Duster as he's going to try to get himself out. Not going to be able to. I think he thought that he had a Burrow Strike and not the uh, Earth. Earth no. There's the Burrow Strike, though, getting used over on Arms. They'll follow up with the Earth Spike. And again, the heal, though, coming out from Nuages. He's doing a lot of work here. MJW throws out the Light Strike Array. They'll be able to go root him into place. And they've got the Exorcism up. Arms is going to get healed right back up to full strength. That dagger coming out from PA, though. She wants to join in on this fight. And they're down heroes. They need more people to come back on in. Although Gunner jumping over to his teammates isn't going to be going for that aggressive offensive right now. As, again, there's going to be a... Big crit coming out from Gunnar as he takes down the uh, Oracle here, and they should be able to find themselves a kill on the Death Prophet too. Yeah, there's no one to save him this time. Very nice finger coming out from the Lion. The the really weird thing about this like Demon Edge first build when you're going for Battle Fury on carry heroes, like Troll Warlord, PA, anything like that, is a lot of people are actually fighting when they get the Demon Edge because it legitimately does a lot of damage for the cost. It's a uh, it's like uh, Nexus are also fighting when they get um, the Relic instead of Radiance because you're finally spending the gold that you've just been saving for so long yeah. on, on something that's actually like quite efficient. Um, even though it's a farming item, it's still, it's still a damage item, and especially the, especially the Demon Edge component. Let's see, how much does Demon Edge give you? It's like 42. Okay, so you upgrade it to a Battle Fury, and it doesn't even give you, gives you three more damage. The Demon Edge is very efficient in terms of the damage that it gives you. Mic issues. No, no. Well, take a little bit of a pause here. So this has been really interesting. It's been very neck and neck. We've got uh, less than 1k gold lead. It's been going back and forth between SG and Bang Bang here. I don't mean to criticize, but is it neck in neck or is it neck and neck? Because because it might actually be neck and because people. Did you I know it's, it's neck and neck? Oh, like okay, race okay. horses kind of thing. Because if it's neck in neck, that's a that's a gra very graphic image that that evokes. Not not that like never. Okay, never mind. I'm not kidding. Did you know it's it, the uh, saying is not 
I learned this in a Netflix show that I watched recently. It's the, you know people say you can have your cake and eat it too. Yeah. Apparently that's you can you can eat your cake and have it too is the original saying. Okay. I'm just saying these. That's things, true. These that's things. True. These can, things like you can have cake and also eat it at the same time. That's not a lie. That's exactly. You're right. Exactly. <laughs> 100% what I was getting at there. <laughs> right. <laughs> Good colloquialisms. Yeah. It's like, where do they come from, you know? What do they mean? There's some awful ones out there. We've talked about this. Yes, we have. There's some There's some, <laughs> There's some. some real dark history to a lot of these colloquialisms that you Google. It's like, oh, I'm never saying that again. Oh, I can't believe I ever said that. Well, it's like um the ga the children's game Ring Around the Rosie, too. Right? Radiant that whole game is about... Pocket full of posy. Yeah. Is that it? Posy? Something? It's, it's children dying from uh, one of the plagues. Ashes, ashes, we all fall down. They're oh, all dying. Horrible. Yeah. Top lane, they will reveal that they have the Blink Dagger now on Dust of Force out that ultimate over on Mario. And you can see the TPs coming out mass and force. They really want to see if they can get this kill. Not going to be able to quite take down that Abad just at this time, though. Duster has a Sandstorm. They're going to be able to just go walk themselves out, drops that ward, keeping tabs on. They really want Mario. They need maybe a Crypt Swarm or something. Last hit coming out from Duster as they get the Silence off over here onto Husky. Husky's just getting chipped down too quickly now. Gunner forced to run himself away with that Exorcism pop. They don't want to have to fight it right now, Especially with Sexy Fat coming around the corner. Doesn't have that charge just yet, but they should be able to put a decent amount of damage over here on this tower. MJW the hero. He uses the charge that was on the PA. Uh, that could have been devastating if that charge goes off. If they lose the cores there, mm -hmm. Arms had his ha had his ultimate. He's got the Agnum Scepter. This guy is doing so much damage. If you could just get a disable onto the PA, despite PA being so farmed right now, like, there's no defensive items whatsoever. So she's going to die. It is so strange to see an ads on Death Prophet. It's good. It, it is. It no, is. it is. It is, but it's just so weird. It is really weird. After so long of just it doing literally nothing. Yeah. God, it's one of the best ags, though. I didn't realize that it worked on auto attacks when I first read it. I was thinking, okay, it works with all the spells. Mm -hmm. But the fact that it works on auto attacks, I mean, It's very strong. Very, very strong. It just strong. adds, Ooh. like... And this gets picked up by... It's double the damage, right? Double the usual damage. It just adds like 120 damage to everything. And yet they still nerfed my Dark Willow. This should make my life yeah, easier. rest in pepperoni, support Willow. Feels bad, man. Unless there's a Mars. That hero seems to be falling off a little bit, competitively speaking, though. People are not favoring it as hype. It's a bit niche. I really do feel like it's the counter. It's the the fact that so many of the, their counters Radiant's to Mars are S tier. Yeah. Oh, Lena, MJW. Gonna get the aphotic shield thrown out by Mario. Sexy Fat joining in on the fight. He is sandwiched now between three different heroes. He's gonna go for that ultimate. We'll just get the Yules off though here over on Lena. The charge forward, MJW, he's toast. And can they find this kill over onto Wolf? It looks like that'll be the case. You know what I also oh, Duster, like? Duster, Duster spawns Mario. Do you see him? Doesn't have uh, the lift, lift though. I also really like the fact with the DPLT that it doesn't instantly come out. Like it doesn't just add 50, or it doesn't just add 120 damage to every single Thing that you do, mm -hmm. it's like it slowly comes out and hits you eventually, which is really annoying because it like cancels blink daggers. That's true. It uh, means that you can like chase somebody and all of your spells will just have a ghost following someone, so they would run away from it. Mm -hmm. Like there's an element of positioning to it that you don't really care about when you first read the ability, but um, it's very annoying just having like three ghosts chasing you because she silenced you two fights ago. It's like there's just a ghost. It's like all right, I guess it's gonna hit me for 300 damage at some point. Great. Husky has a blink dagger. I feel like he kind of wants to go in on this, but it's awkward with the oracle. It's very him. yeah. Noatis has been on point over here. There's gonna be the silence. They killed MJW. They did. They did indeed. He was just standing out of position. Line, They've right? got their eyes on Husky over here. Husky's not gonna be able to get out fast enough, but there's gonna be Gunner. He jumps through. They'll still lose Husky though. There won't be any ultimate coming out here. And now Gunner. Gunner's gonna get waveformed down here. Noatis got himself a double kill. Mario running himself out. Husky. He did just buy back. He tried to get the epicenter off, but he's not gonna be able to. Noatis might be the one who gets taken down. I will get a finger being used over on the Oracle, but they'll manage to get themselves that mid tower during all of this. Yeah, the buyback was. Super he didn't even get the the epicenter off. Here's the thing. I th I think I think this is one of those situations. Like Sand King is is a is an interesting hero. It's a str it's a strange hero. Mm -hmm. Like I said, I'm not I'm not like flaming husky. The guy's ten times the Dota player I am. The guy the guy's like he's like ranked forty as a support. The guy's a god, mm -hmm. but he's not an offlane player. Like he doesn't. 
he doesn't play these heroes. And so what you're saying is that you should be switching with Husky right now. Husky should be casting. No, here's what me. I yeah. <laughs> well, he, he'd probably do that better than me too. But <laughs> what I'm saying, what I'm saying is, Sand King is a hero that you need to you need to like rotate between the different styles of playing him. There's like where you tank in frontline and you go into fights and you start and use your Sandstorm as an ability. Mm -hmm. And then there's the play style where you're counter initiating with the epicenter. And it's two completely different things, and you need to uh, rotate between it with, with it within a game depending on like who you feel like you need to kill. If somebody's tanky enough to be the frontliner in the game. If like Abaddon gets gets gone on, yeah, and um, I think that was a situation where you don't just go in with the burrow and, and your and like epicenter after you need to e epi and then go. Mm -hmm. um, and usually that's actually the worst way to play Sand King, but it just depends on what the game calls for. People have been opting more to be the counter initiating Sand King lately because when they changed Sandstorm, everybody freaked out and was like, "This is a totally different hero." Mm -hmm. But then people realized, "Ah, eh, we're kind of over adjusting." You know, it is this new hero that you can play in this very tanky sort of split push playstyle where you're using the Sandstorm, but you can also be that empty center team fight winning guy. Right. It's like Tidehunters. They don't buy Blink anymore, uh, but they eventually still buy a Blink because it's still pretty good to have a Blink Rabbit. Yeah. Even though you want to be that front line guy. It's almost like a luxury item in some ways, right? Right, right. It's like, exactly. It's like on the occasional situation where you get a Blink five man Ravage, that was worth it. But that's why it's a luxury item. Yeah. Because you can still do a lot with the utility items that you pick up. Right. You have a smoke though over here, Duster. He's looking for any sort of a pick. Wolf will just run on by here on the mid lane. Not aware of how close he was to his own demise. Supports don't care though. I mean, that's the person you want to tank the game, right? Yeah. You want yep. your supports to be the ones who get it. Not Gunner over here. Who is, <laughs> Sexy uh, fat just appears out of nowhere. Phew. Oh my god, Gunner's like, what the? What is that? Well, they popped the double damage over here on, yeah. uh, on arms. Maybe it sounds like awesome. maybe they wanted to do something. Not a huge rune on DP. Mm hmm. But, illusion. oh, I guess he had an illusion rune bottled, so. Oh, so that's why it popped. Yeah. Right, right. Illusion's not that good. This, this hero, is like, he just wants an arcane rune real bad. Radiance Come on, guys. Are you serious? BD? Well, I mean, that's, you know, the magic of, uh, of runes. If you get lucky enough, you pray to RNG Jesus this morning. Yeah. Runes are up, bounty. though. We did get bounty picked up over on the Death Prophet. See, this always seems to be how it is. It's, it's like there's always two runes that you get, two runes that they get, just based on like where you're securing on the map. Mm -hmm. That's why making those rotations around the rune, the rune timings is so good, because you know that everybody is just instinctually going to go to their secured runes and feel secure about it. But the problem is you have to already be ready for it, and sometimes the game just does not allow that. Right. Sometimes it's because you just didn't strategically think of that, and sometimes it's because you just literally couldn't get into position in time. This game is still so neck and neck, though, if you look at this. Neck and neck. Oh, my gosh. Now I'm thinking about See, it. Uh, it might be Jenkins. neck and neck. That's what I'm saying. It might actually be neck and neck, though. You might be. I don't know, but. Uh, it could be. It might be to we might be totally wrong about it. Could be. Could be. They know Husky's there. They want this. Arms is in position. You've got that. Scotty just getting picked up on Morphling. So There's a BKB, though. That's going to be a huge power spike for the PA. Although, oh again. Ooh, Husky. I mean, this is this is good though. You don't want to fight around that shrine. And and Sa Sand King's a good hero to to start the fights yeah. like that. He's, he's tanky. Although Gunner does have a BKB, so this is a it's a big power spike. This is a good moment where he could jump in and just blow somebody up, and then Husky could counter initiate with the epicenter. I feel like that is definitely the play here. The you thing is scary though is the fact that Death Prophet goes their physical. Nice Mario walks up to the high ground. He knows they don't want to go on him. The Yule is getting used here over onto the Oracle. This is very important for them to keep him alive. And with Najee's down, I think we're just going to see them full retreat. Back Duster. Oh, he sees that they're in Roche. There's no they don't buyback have buyback. Oracle, yeah, though. they don't. They're, they're going to try the... Oh, <laughs> Duster was there. Hello? Gunner's huge. Mayo Deus. <laughs> ah, Mayo Deus. Cassage. <laughs> BKB getting picked up now over on the Death Prophet. They need to get in that pit. They can't allow for this. But Gunner again, he jumps up. He just takes out Duster immediately. There's going to be the epicenter gets channeled. It will go off, but they'll be able to find their own kill here as the Rubik steals himself some real nice spells on the back lines. You can see this Death Prophet chasing down the lion. They're going to be able to take down Sexy Fat. Can they get anything more? This Lena, MJW trying to run himself out of silent stuff, but no. Golem, he'll find that kill. And now the PA on the run over here. Just jump over to that creep wave. They don't want to give up this Roche. There's so many ghosts. This is this is honestly like Gunner versus Arms. This game. In, yes, in, in terms of, in terms of like damage dealing and carrying, uh, those two like the Morphling's not doing that much damage right now. He's honestly kind of like the frontline tank, which is funny to say that when there's a Spear Breaker, but the Spear Breaker has contributed basically charging people, which Not I guess is, is what Not he is. does. Ooh. 
I want to see that fire. Oh no. Oh baby. I think you just you so gotta bad. disarm. Disarm Gunner. Or turn around and try to murder him, I guess. You know, you got that Scotty. He's not going to be able to go away that fast. He's going to try to fight his way through. They still will be able to get the kill over onto this Oracle, but they're going to keep chasing down here. Sexy Fatty wants that vision. He needs to see that PA, and he's going to try to keep running, but there's going to be the charge coming through. He's going to be able to go use that BKB. He's going to try to man fight everyone. There's so many people here, though. He's Oh, oh the Bash! The Bash comes out! Gunner, he can't get out fast enough. He's trying to get him away, and he just knows he has to keep fighting. He'll be able to go. They find the kill onto Duster, but they will lose Gunner in the end. I heard Gunner scream. <laughs> I heard him scream in the background. There's a lot of screaming going. <laughs> oh, he was, he was not happy Woo! about that. He does have buyback, though. He's down like, for 60 something seconds. He does have buyback. Doesn't like, want okay. to, but. So there's a 17% chance that they interrupt that TP because he he was invisible and BKB. So there's there's the only way. Okay, actually, it's even lower. That's why they that's why they picked the spear. Breaker, it's even lower. Right? It's PA. It's 50% evasion. There's half of 17% chance. It's like an 8% 8, 8 chance that he interrupts that TP. And he gets one up. Is it not eight? I don't know. Why are you asking me? <laughs> NA math. I what know I'm Asian, but I don't have all the math answers, Jake. It's geez. They're the one who said NA math. <laughs> you're more North American than I am. I don't know. You're, you're from Canada. That's pretty North American. That's not That's North very American. North. That's very North American. Everybody thinks I'm American. They yeah. refer to us as the Americans when we went and cast over what? in Germany. Oh, oh sexy, sexy bat. Oh, ho, ho. and we get the Laguna Blade Steel coming out here from Duster. Can they take down MJW in time over hit? They'll find it. Duster's such a player, man. He was quick That's why we on call the him Deuster. What does that mean? Like Deus, like God. Oh, Deuster. okay. That makes sense. That makes sense. Well, you know when they say uh, Ameo Deus? Mm -hmm. I don't know what each of those words means. I just my know. God. I just know that it means, oh my God. My God. Male? I'm just saying I, the, the order. Male. The order in different languages it, it changes. Like they sometimes they put, you know, the first or after. You know what I'm saying, right? This is not. Uh, I feel like I'm not being unreasonable here. <laughs> well, like uh, I guess you know, because like in Spanish, right? It's Dios mío. Yeah. So you have the God first, and then I. Right. Mio Dios is. Oh, this is so nice for Golem. He gets himself a double damage rune in the bottle. Bottles it too, just yeah. waiting for that moment when they go in for the fight. Did they roche while we were just yeah, they roche. Yeah. A nice night. <laughs> All right. And there's double a BKB damage. completed. Oof. On Warfleet. I believe is he, so. Is he sending it out? I believe so. Yes. Oh boy. This is oh, baby. this is very good timing. This is a very very strong timing. Somebody's sending the courier back. I'm interested to see who's doing this. Okay. Supports. <laughs> <laughs> Support sending it back for Radiant's the Tome of Knowledge. Yeah, well, you know, maybe they're right on the, the cusp of something Let's here. see. Is he's, it the Oracle? He's not. He's not. No? Level oh. 15 talent, cast range, gold. You'd go gold, I'm pretty sure. Where, where's Sexy Fat going? Charging PA, just to get vision. Maybe. Uh, so he does have TP. He's fine. Oh, Ooh, that was close. Maybe not, yeah. That was... See, that's what I expected for the first TP because it's, it's like a PA. You BKB blur TP, 50% evasion. That was the moment, Jenkins. We were talking about how we want to be like the Korean casters. We should have just been screaming cow the entire time yeah. you went or moo or something. I feel like we'll get kicked out of the building if we do that. No, we won't. Why would we get kicked out of the building? This has been a very uh, hostile, intimidating, not the, the just the people, uh, like the, you know, the people that were at the bar last night, the... The teens, the teenagers. <laughs> the youths. The youths. <laughs> the kids, man. They they were intimidating me, Those man. Those look like high school kids, man. And I, I got told that I look like a nerd. I'm probably going to get beat up. I mean, you do look like a nerd, and you probably I, I mean, will I, get I, beat up. I didn't say it was wrong. I didn't, I didn't ever say it once said that it was wrong. I'm just I'm just saying. I don't know if you're made you're made out for SoCal I'm, here. I'm not made for, for California, man. You should have heard the guys. They were all complaining about the traffic coming out of LAX. Yeah, they really Plenty were. Planning about the driving. Dude, this is part of being American. And Pete, who who lives here, is just like, it's nothing. It's like, dude. You mean Andrew, as we found out? The Andrew. liar. Why would you call yourself Pete? <laughs> uh, we're is, having a great guy, time. Guy's a madman. <laughs> All right. All eyes on Gunner here, though. He is the primary damage dealer. He needs to stay alive. It's just been real difficult for him. And, you know, hats off to... Uh, that's off to the ABBA here. He's trying. He's trying, but do we even have a mech now on the Sand King? Notice that? 
Huh. Trying to survive a little bit longer. The lift, the Laguna coming through waveform. Gunner, he's trying to run himself away. And oh, Light Striker, it comes out from MJW, buys him a little bit more time. That BKB came out, though. Good timing to push. You have uh, Morphling has the double damage. He's a PA. He's invisible right now. He's a BKB ready to go. Uh, DD's going to wear out, though. It's gone. MJW, or sorry, Husky. I'm, I'm so used to seeing. Oh thing. no. Oh, PA. Oh, Gunner. He's found. See you later. And they have DP ulti. That was just so patient, too. They were waiting. They knew that that BKB was going to be down. They'd be able to get off these spells. Yeah. Very nicely done. Well, we get a steal here. We got the Light Strike. Hooray. Nice, uh. Fate's eating, so there's one on Oh, oh Sexy Fanny just goes running on in there, charging through. Husky follows up, though, with the Burrow Strike, and they also have that, uh... I mean... He actually just tanked, like, three stuns and just walked away from it. Yeah. Is that what... Is that what... Is this the play? I guess so. I mean, it's working for him, isn't it? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> boy. Ooh, oh. There's some lasers being zapped around here. Gola barely made it out. Good Duster's Lord. not going to be as lucky. That was hostile. Speaking of hostility, that was, that was the most hostile That thing. was a get out of my swamp. <laughs> I mean, they're gone. It worked. It worked. Hostility just works. That's the one thing that I've learned coming to America, is that <laughs> if you're just hostile with the people that you want to Dyer's like you, you just get people to do what you want. I mean, it's worked with you. <laughs> yeah, I mean... You abuse me all the time, <laughs> and here I am. Oh no, Moxie, I don't want to go to I don't want to go to LA. People are hostile there, and then you, you know, you do that hand motion, and I'm I'm gone. Poor Jenkins got I don't know what super sunburned point. yesterday, and I was joking with him. I was like, I was like, oh, you know, we were all asking like, you're fluorescent. How are you not in pain? And you're like, no, he's, you know, he's saying he's totally fine. I was like, can I can I slap you then and like like prove it? He's like, yeah, totally, go for it. Just slap the sunburn. And I, I was like, are you sure? Are you really sure about this? And I did, and I felt really bad afterwards because now he's got a total, he's got my, it my was, hand on his uh, arm from the slap. It was a moderately painful oh, experience Dyer's for me. Arms. Okay. Oh, the blink, though. The spidey sense was tingling Dude, as Mario land. goes right up there. They've got the vision. Arms, though. The spot is totally split right now. Arms having to run himself away. Gunner, he popped that BKB. He's got to run, though. It's a defensive BKB. That's not what you want. Wolf actually going to get taken down here. Sexy Bat has his own BKB. They're looking. They want to get the jump. Can they find this on Mario? Mario's going to get taken down. They both have buyback on these supports. MJW is able to TP himself out, and it looks like Duster has realized he cannot survive this PA because he has picked up a Ghost Scepter. Does not have the blink, so Gunner just gets to walk away and farm. Husky is doing a good job at keeping the lanes pushed out while all of this ha is happening. So we're pushing in the last fight, although... My bad. Ooh, that's going to be a very dead Rubik, but Husky, he's not looking so healthy himself. He is going to get taken down here. The Yules get used, and Golem will take a little spin for a while, but they've got the ultimate up. Gunner, he's trying to go after this Oracle. He's going to try to jump forward. He's going to try to burst down, but they've got so much damage, they'll be able to take down Gunner. He does have buyback. He's down for 90-something seconds. He's going to come right back up again. MJW, he will get taken down. That's a triple kill coming out from ARMS. As the rest of the team, they'll be able to cancel out the TP. This is not looking good for ARMS now. He's going to get chunked down. There's too much damage, and that finger going to be able to seal his fate. That is a wicked sick kill streak taken down. Expensive. This is it, it is an expensive uh, honestly on both ends. It's like an expensive high ground defense. You trade your racks and a bunch of your buybacks for kills. It's expensive push because they lose the two most important cores in the Death Prophet and the Morphling. But uh, I think if you are the Radiant, you're just happy with getting racks in this situation. Honestly, the uh, the PA is just not tanky at all to the damage coming from the Radiant. Like, the Death Prophet Ghosts are just shredding. I was about to say the Death Prophet Ghosts are doing a lot here. Yeah. yeah. Middle tower is under I almost wonder if like a, a Blade Mail might be something that, that should be considered for maybe the Abaddon or maybe for Husky or something. I thought you were talking about for PA. I was going to say, okay, all right, Moxie. We're going to need to, oh, Moxie, we're gonna need to party cue. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to need to teach you some Dota. <laughs> Hello, I'm a Turbo Gamer only. Oh, IO, okay. IO Turbo Gamer, thank you. That's a mini game, man. Turbo's not real Dota. Turbo is fun. It is. It the, is it's at fun. least the ability draft is more Dota than than whatever that mode that so you're talking about. So here's a question for you because I, I honestly do not remember. Uh, what does the Acceptor do on PA? The Ag Scepter on PA. Okay, I'm pretty sure it makes it so Radiant the blur dispels. Blur. Okay. Uh, Our observer is on the case. <laughs> I don't know. Nobody's going to get an Ags on PA. Uh, 
He was thinking about it for briefly. No, it's a rapier. He knows he knows the right item to go. It's obviously a rapier. Let's do it. Let's do it, boys. I'm ready. <laughs> Poor Duster. Duster's not even going to be able to get that, that ghost scepter off. He's just going to jump on it and slice him in half. Rest in pepperoni pieces. He's been quick on it, man. He's been quick on the trigger. Yeah, but if you've got a rapier and you get one dagger, one dagger and I am die. No, oh, he'll he'll press the ghost scepter. I have faith. He's been doing some he's been doing some good stuff here. Alright, well they're gonna go right into this Roche pit and they should be able to get this no problem. It's gonna be cheese coming out this time. Is this the second Roche? I can't this click Roche for some reason. Second Roche? I'm drawing on the map. Yeah, I know, I can see you drawing on the map. Stop littering. This is embarrassing for me. <laughs> to have my alt key held. Not a very good artist, are you? Hey, that was abstract, okay? Okay, all right, all right. So Golem picking up the Aegis, I'm sure the, uh, the Death Prophet has that cheese. And they find themselves Wolf. That's a nice, quick pickoff here. It's a freebie. No, he's got buyback, though. He does have buyback. Radiance top tower is under they've attack. pushed in the creeps in this Radiant mid. It looks like they're going to be going for top. If they can't go to the bottom. Death Prophet goes. Popped a little early. They'll get the fortification out. Look at that solar. Look at it. Look at this morph. How do you stop this man? shiny, watery boy there. I don't know. That seems to be the question that they're asking themselves. Just kidding. He's still alive. They have to They have to take down the Oracle because the Oracle will just constantly keep everyone alive. These ghosts are just doing so much damage. And they just, again, they go, they throw out that uh, edict, and they're going to be able to just heal up Golem. Stroll on out like that, no problem. I feel like there's just like a fog of ghosts around DP now. Like I don't even know if she's popped her ultimate or not, or or if she's just silenced like three people. You, if you silence a creep wave, it looks like you ulted. Yeah. Like this hero is just ulting every time she presses her abilities. That's a very strong axe. It's a very good axe. How close are we here? We've got enough for the relic if we want to go for it. You really don't think he's just gonna go abyssal? You think he's trolling us? No, no, he's going rape here. All right. Abyssal, Abyssal doesn't give you da any more damage than the Basher does. I don't know if you just were able to lock down someone. I and when you're when you're one when you're one racks down at this point, it's kind of like you just want to kill somebody without buyback and just go straight down mid and kill the throne. You can always do that in Dota, especially with a rapier PA. That's an E blade on the Morphling. Yeah, that's definitely problematic. That is that is a yikes. That's a big oof right there. Yeah, indeed, indeed. Got a haste rune right now on the Death Prophet. She's still holding on to that cheese. I feel like this used to be a sexy fat hero. Like, like so before he joined SG, like I used to follow a lot of the open qualifier stacks. I still try to whenever I'm home, you know. Um, but I remember sexy fat playing a lot of this hero. I think like a year ago, maybe. I don't know. He clearly loves his taunts, though. I. Uh, my my only question with this hero is I don't get what it does as a, as an offlaner that it can't do as a support as well. I guess when you just really want to integrate the hero onto your team and Duster really wants to play Rubik, you give Duster Rubik, um, and then you just have Sexy Fat playing a support as. A, but this kind of feels like a support being played as a, as an offlaner. It's working though. It's, it's working. working, yeah, it's working. I mean, he's not playing. He's playing well. It's just. I feel like you'd probably get the same thing from a. Because a lot of these offlaners, like, they're very capable of, you know, shoving waves. Like, they'll shove a wave, they'll fight. They'll shove a wave, they'll yeah. fight. Uh, Breaker kind of doesn't do that. He just charges people. But I, I really like the bulldoze. The fact that he just is just running into the fights and tanking spells with bulldoze. I think that's pretty cool. Well, like you said, it gives you status resistance now, too. So it's even better. 70%. We got enough. I think we want to have enough for buyback, though, too, right? For the PA before she goes and buys a rapier. No, no. You don't need buyback if you have a rapier. All right. You we're going. We're doing it. Let's go. All right. All right. My camera's locked on Gunner. <laughs> Let's go. It's going to be the exorcism. Gets thrown out. Golem just swinging over here. Daggers coming out. Can they burst down this Morphling fast enough? But they're going to be able to go stun up Husky. Husky, they're going to be able to go take down that Aegis. And it looks like they'll be able to get a kill on the Sand King. He's going to buy back right here, right now. Sexy Dad pops his own BKB, too. Oh, look at that crit damage. He's lucky a support was he standing next to him. Duster just instantly dies. Yeah, I know. Pew. They're just gonna back off now. Wow, that is some. That's that is some. some respect. That is restraint. That, that is, is some respect. restraint. But they can easily take down shrines, cut down their. Uh... Oh, wow, well, he went for the he went for the eight exo spirits talent. I have not seen that on DP. That's interesting. 
I, it's, I mean, I suppose when you just have like two racks left, all you need to do is just stand there and take oh the tower. Boy. They're going up to the high ground immediately, no but the follow up with Husky. Husky's got to be careful, he bought back here. Volkul is coming forward. Golem's got his BKB out. Gunner, he does a lot of damage. He's trying to get his hands over here to Arms. Arms is going to be able to go and take down FJW over here. They take down Husky. They're just losing left and right here. The PA is still alive. Mario not going to be alive for much longer, though, as PA already trying to just get oh, himself no out. Oh, Mario. Oh, boy. Yeah, this is not looking great here. The finger is going to get used by the Lion. But Arms will be able to go. They got the steal on that finger. Can they get down Arms though? Yes, they'll be able to find that kill. The Silence coming out again. Yeah, he's been like on a roll right now. Gunner jumps Double forward again, kill. finds himself the kill on Duster. Golem, it's now going to be the 1v1 between this Morph League and the PA and Golem. He doesn't want anything to do with it. He's going to go hide over here in that bog and get himself out. Gunner played that fight so patiently. Look at, look at their buildings. They're going down. I mean, uh, who PA cares? Can who cares? PA can defend. You can have Megas. And when you have a Rapier on PA, like, Megas is actually fine. You just want to kill somebody with that buyback, go straight down mid. That is, I mean, Megas it does matter, but racks, tower damage, it doesn't really matter that much. What matters is like fort and buybacks and maybe Megas a little bit. But um, that was such a patient fight from Gunner. Like his team just kind of die, like walking in and dying. And still he doesn't just like commit. He doesn't commit to that because you have your cores die. I think a lot of players would run in and just lose the rapier there. This strikes me as like one of those moments, you know, like, um, you know those baby backpacks that people people have to carry their infant? Uh, yeah, I've seen those. Yeah, those, are, I, those are pretty hilarious. I feel like like this is Gunner sticking his team in one of those and just throwing them all on his back. Like, all right, we're gonna that, we're, that fight we're gonna definitely that fight definitely like it looked it looked a lot like that. It's like, all right, guys, like, don't worry, I'll be I'll be fine. And I'll get an ultra kill yeah, alone. Yeah. Don't worry, guys. I, you know, it's like uh, Kostabile doing that. Uh, the thing is, the, the, the pressure is on him, though, because if, if he dies, they just lose. So yeah, it's, and it's they're, like, they're looking for him. They're hunting. And I'm pretty sure he's the only win condition is the PA with the rapier. Maybe even two rapiers. He's actually going eggs because he has six slots. That's the situation in which you go eggs is when you're six slotted already. Yeah. They have vision. I think this is one of our longer games that we've had today, too. Yeah, which, uh, which is great. They've all been pretty short, other than, you know, with the 70-minute pause. There's the Octarine core picked up now on arms. It's nice. Does he have armor? Yeah, he's it's a gonna be ghosts. Shiva, It's so. just going to be ghosts left and right, always, every day. Yep, yep. This is... Do, do the illusions, do the DP illusions, do those get the eggs? I don't know. That's it, a good question. I actually haven't seen it. They have the little eggs bubble on them, yeah. like the buff. Uh, I don't know. It's, it's hard to say what works in Dota and what doesn't. And they're just using... Okay. They don't. It doesn't no, work. No. That'd be broken. That would be super broken. You just Manta you just style. A manta. Yeah, I was about to say, yeah. You just get Perma a slow somebody. You just like stagger them and you slow somebody permanently. That would be nuts. All right, so I think we're waiting for another Roche at this point. I thought Sexy Fat was charging in the moment you said that. I mean, that would be a very Spirit Breaker thing to do. No but. surprise, yeah. Would absolutely would be It no takes surprise. a very specific kind of person to play heroes like Spirit Breaker. I'm good at Spirit Breaker. That's one of my... That's one I of believe my. it. I can totally see you being a Spirit Breaker You know what Ellie player. said to me the other day? She said, you're really good at heroes that are just chaotic. Yeah. Like Pudge and Ogre. I was, is... I was offended by that. Why? Because it's like implying that yeah, I have no structure. Like no... I mean, it, it's correct. But I still <laughs> reserve my right to be offended by something that's correct. You know? It's just the way she... The way she goes. It's the way of the road. And the way of the road of this game is that Double they're, they're going to weigh Roche. Double damage. We got an MKB online from Morphling. This game is so hard for Gunner. Radiant oh, he needs a second rapier. That's what I think. Yeah, I, I believe it. Well, bottle up that screw double damage. The, save the it for later. Get a second rapier. It's gonna be the boots. Because uh, you know, you die with this rapier, I think you probably lose. You can keep a backup rapier, right? I think even with a backup rapier, I'd, I'd probably prefer to just have two rapiers and have like that potential okay. be there rather than. It's only a 9k lead too. Isn't that wild? Like you feel like it should be so much more. It's like the map. The, the that's the thing with like losing barracks and losing towers is it's it's like a map advantage lead. I know that's a buzzword that they throw around in Dota that kind of means nothing, but it's like creeps are constantly pushing in. So you, you just have this vision. You just have information the enemy team doesn't, which lets you make like way better plays. It's just it's way easier for you to make decisions in the game when lanes are pushing in. Because, like, somebody has to deal with this top lane. Sand King has to TP back and deal with this lane. So now he's not set up top, which he was. Like, his positioning was really nice up there. His positioning was beautiful. It's just there's a lane he has to deal with. The team's not going to do it. Okay, there's the Ags now for the PA. 
Oh, God, I can't imagine how stressed Gunner's got to feel right now. Let me see. What does the eggs do? Okay. Causes Blur to have instant cast time and applies a dispel. Anytime you get a hero kill, your abilities are fresh. All right, that's pretty good. With, that that's seems good pretty with good with Rapier. Yeah, that, yeah. And he is going for a second Rapier. That seems seems oh. like, the, like the choice. I like that SG is playing as a, a complete unit. Like, this is really good restraint from them. Discipline, I should say. And restraint. Restraint is, of course, a part of discipline. But uh, really good discipline from them. Okay, we got the Arcane Rin picked up now for the Death Prophet. Do you, do you just walk in and, like, ult the Rax? I, feel I mean, like she's got an Octarine core, too. Like, what's, what's the math on it's that? It's, what, 76-second cooldown? It lasts yeah, for 35 yeah, seconds, yeah. so it's, like, 50% uptime if you use it right now. That's ridiculous. Redonkulous. So you walk away for 30 seconds after it's over, and then it's up again. That seems pretty good. They are trying to put a little bit of split push pressure on the map, but... They're being I so guess. patient. They've got to get that Roche. they got to get the Roche. Yeah. And it's going to be up very, very soon. I like MJW and Wolf's positioning. I, th I think this is, like, a, a really good thing to do when you're in a situation. Like you, can, you can feel really pressured to just sit in your base. That's, like, one of the best ways to just lose Dota. Mm -hmm. Like, you have to be looking for openings like this. And sure, nothing has happened, but... Uh, you know, they're Radiant's at least in position, so they have opportunities down. rather than no opportunities whatsoever. Are they going to go for a... Uh, is that a fake back? So Roche is up. They popped the uh, DD, I think, over on the Morphling, or rather the, the DD already popped, yeah. And he's going to smack it, yeah. Dude, falls so fast. This is Refresher Shard now, yes? Uh, yeah, it's a Refresher Shard. And it then the fourth time is the... Ags? It can be an eggs or refresher and the, on okay. the third Roche, but it's it's a refresher. I'm not sure. I I, I think when you, the patch first came out, you could actually sell the eggs for like 3,200 gold or oh something wow. ridiculous. That is which which long obviously long is long not long intended. Long uh, long I I don't. I imagine you probably can't do it anymore. Ghosts for days. What, you what get it, a ghost, and you get a ghost. Would an eggs actually be good? And would you would you rather this be a refresher or an eggs? Probably the refresher, eh? Refresher, yeah. Especially because you've, you've got a death prophet. prophet. You've got a death prophet who's got the plus so eight spirits. What are the eggs? What are the eggs for these heroes? So we have Oracle. He's yeah. got the Oracle eggs is just the purifying Purifying flame, flames. Flames, which, which kind of sucks. You have a, to have a big enough mana pool. Yeah. I think as a support, to, it's like worthless. Really work. And they've already got Duster's already got an eggs online for him. So Spirit Breaker is like the AOE Nether Strike, which. And then it increases the range and decreases the cooldown, which I don't know. I don't think I care that much about Spear Breaker having a low cooldown AoE Nether Strike at this point. That seems kind of useless. Rubik Eggs, he already has one. Death Prophet already has an Eggs. Morphling Eggs. I have absolutely no idea what that does. Is it? I mean, you're the one who's got the access let me go, to let me the, look, let me the look. internet right now. Because they changed like, that. I'm just, they I'm changed just sitting here that. with a the monitor. Okay, they did just change it, yes. 35% cooldown reduction while morphed, and then 50% mana cost reduction and 600 cast range. That's pretty ridiculous. So let's see, what 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 can he get cast range on? Dagger? Uh, Burrow Strike? Damn, stealing Sand King with an Agatum Scepter or Morphling? That would actually be legit. Yeah. Even Lina? Like, using uh, Light Strike Array? Let's see, so he's got 35% cooldown reduction. So Light Strike Array would be... Double. Like a fight, like he's got 80% uptime on Light Strike Array. This is so scary. They've got Rapier number two. This is kind of like the make it or break it point, right? Because you've got the MKB on the Morphling, you've got the Aegis, you've got the E Blade, you've got a lot of solutions. Even having Lotus Orb. Mario can't kick it away fast enough here. It's going to immediately get lifted, thrown right back down again. He's got to run himself out. They've got the Light Strike Array connects over onto Golem. He's just going to patiently keep uh, hitting away at this tower. Gunner, he jumps into the back line, so he immediately takes out Desert, takes out no edges, and they're going to be able to go. They use that epicenter, they'll be able to go take down Sexy Bat as well. Golem, he's trying to fight himself out. He wants to go and get the skill over here on the side. Gunner, he's over on the back oh line. God. We'll be able to finally go pop that Aegis. There's so many ghosts just flying around here. And a Laguna, they jump forward. They're going to get a triple kill over on Gunner. Can they get arms in time? No, he's out. And just like that, it's only a 5k. That was, a, that was a really good call, whoever called to just go on the back lines like that and not let them siege. Um, probably that's something that they could have been doing earlier, but obviously in retrospect, the, I mean, that looked good, and it looked good because they executed the team fight correctly. It's, it's hard to make that judgment in-game, but that's what they, like, they needed. They were forced to do that there, otherwise they just lose their racks. And it, that was like 100% the call. Like Double one, damage for a gun. Look at this damage, Jenkins. Yeah, this guy's a god. They're actually just like, he's just heading down mid. Oh, never mind. Oh, yeah, he's heading down mid. He smells duster. <laughs>
Let's get out of this game. Like, hey there. Hey there, supports. What's, what you doing? Duster might actually be dead here. Oh, never mind. No, they're showing restraint. You can easily just throw away this little bit of a lead that you're getting. Because we're only Gunner is, like, now. so ludicrously patient. What is uh, our... I'm, I'm pretty sure 99% of players just lose both these rapiers by, by now. Like, if rapier DD, I, I am 100% in their fountain trying to kill them right now. What's the win percentage change here? Uh, good question. That's was 75%. All right. So not a huge difference, but enough. One Radiance game, middle lead now. Oh, the uh, lift, though. The lift. He should be able... No, they get the silence off on him. He's got to be really, really careful. There's going to be that finger coming out. Laguna, they'll take down Arms. Arms has buyback, though. What is this game right now? I don't know, but I'm liking it. I'm liking I it. <laughs> I don't know what I'm watching. They really Lasers, ghosts. It's the, it's the best of the fantasy world here. Roshan is, is not even closed up. It's like four minutes yeah. from now. This is the longest game I think we've cast today. The lanes, the lanes are in a pretty good position. I feel like at this point, having Boots of Travel on Husky would definitely be the play. Maybe MJW. MJW has the brown boots, so he could upgrade that. Yeah. Like Somebody just being able to push out these lanes while Radiance having the rest of the four team play attack. together and protect Gunner. Uh, that seems like, Radiant it's actually, like I actually I actually see them winning this game with the PA if they, as, as long as they don't like throw the rapiers away, as long as they do well, a good of course. job of protecting. Of course, as long as they don't throw the rapiers away. I just mean like, I actually think they're, I actually think they're like easily gonna win the game. I don't just think it's. I love the way that Wolf is playing around the PA. Uh, if you notice, there's always like someone around so that she can jump to them. I think there should be or three sort of heroes. Assault. There should be three heroes by the PA at all points. Or this. They should be or, orbiting around her. Or, the or this, time. where the PA is obviously in like the, you know, the area of the map where there's nobody. Yeah. Like, I think if, I think that if you put, if you defend the PA. You're going for another rapier, baby. Oh, no. No, they changed. She changed if her you mind. If all you right. defend the PA here and you just have somebody deal with the side lanes. I don't see them losing. Like this is like a 90-10. Because Don't jinx them now. I, I really I, I really think that it's it's actually not going to be that difficult for them after watching that fight if they keep executing like that. This is the kind of Dota I want to see though. Like, you know, we talked about both of these teams possibly being like the top uh, in the top running. So, being able to see this kind of Dota is really if you, really fun. If you look at like damage numbers for heroes in terms of just you go into a practice lobby and give them like regular items. Um like, PA is not even, you know, top 10 for damage in the game. Mm -hmm. Unless you start factoring in rapiers. Then then she is, like, one of the you absolute best. You factor in rapiers for a lot of these heroes. Well, you can't so. factor in rapiers for, like, Chaos Knight or PL, right? So right. it's like, but PA, like, the crit obviously scales really well with raw damage. Yeah. Whereas PL, the illusions like, get nothing from the raw damage. So PL and Chaos Knight, Slaughter actually as well. Like, these random heroes that just have these, like, amplifications or illusions, they're insane Radiant in the late game with regular shrine. items. PA in the late game is actually not a great hyper carry in terms of damage. Radiant She's good at, like, the early late game, I suppose, if you want to... But the hyper, hyper late game, when you get rapiers, there's, like, no hero that can contest the PA. It's just that, you know, you have rapiers. <laughs> that's that's the problem. Like, crits are actually insane with the, with yeah. the rapier as an item. Wraith King as well, of course. Jug Wraith King becomes before. Just like a raid boss. Man. Yeah. MJW does push out. Oh, there's another double damage rune down here. Where's that? DD PA doesn't. At? DD matters for the for the morph definitely, but for the PA, it's a, it's adding like a hundred damage. It's not that much. Does it count? Does what count? Does it does double damage count? Uh, it, it just it's the base damage. Ooh, the Laguna comes out. Arm's gonna have to go and eat that cheese right away. They've got the BKB over onto Sexy Path. They should be able to take down Wolf. Wolf's gonna fall here, and now it looks like MJW. He is gonna also get taken down. Bit does a, make everybody come home though. That is a five-man rotation. And that's good. Maybe they thought there were more people. A little there? bit, little bit of a throw, just because I, I feel like that you don't need to be going for those plays at this point just because of the rapier factor. This is the weird point in Dota where it's like hyper late game and nobody really knows how you're supposed to play and everybody just pretends. It's like adulthood. You know, people <laughs> pr people pretend they know how to do it, but nobody has any goddamn idea. No. It's just like, uh, I guess like I push waves and try to kill people. I don't know. There was a creep wave there. You know what Morphling? He could go for the he could go for rapiers and, and use the waveform attack. I just want targets. yeah, let's let's go. Let's go full He's on. He's got two wave waveform charges. That seems legit. Just AoE rapier hit people. They're gonna force these buybacks. E blade completed now for this death prophet. Ooh. Gunner's back. He's playing it safe. Look how close they are. Look, they keep like less than like a 1k net worth lead. 
Somebody's got to get a blade mail at this point. Yeah. It's it's sexy, Pat. He's got to get a blade mail. Got the Lotus Orb online. They'll go use the Exorcism. The Fortification going to come out. Husky in the back lines here. They're looking for him. They're going to be able to find him over on the side. Sexy Pat has his BKB up. Can they get the kill over to Husky? Yes, they'll be able to take him down. Immediately buying back. These ghosts just swarming around here. They're trying to put even more damage out over onto these racks. rmc has got the Lotus Orb on him. He's going to be able to go get that bounce back. There's going to be the buyback. Oh, they're going through. They get the Hex off. She's still alive, though, but she will get sliced down by Gunner, and they'll be able to go get that Laguna off. That's a double kill coming out now for this PA. She's looking for some more. She's hungry. Can she get the kill on Duster? He's going to buy himself a little bit more time, but it's not going to be enough. MJW takes him down. Nuwaj, they cancel out that TP, and he's toast. More than two kills, but less Triple than four kill. kills. Yeah, they actually win. There's just no buybacks. Like they, they, they legit just can't. There's no way DP. Okay, so we, we, we saw in the fights what happens if you focus the back lines. Like these other heroes, the PA, or sorry, the uh, the Morphling and the Death Prophet, they can't fight. And now they have no buybacks. It's just on the Death Prophet that they have a buyback. And, and Morphling's obviously alive. Like they could actually. They could actually run down mid and just end the game. Because right they've got the refresher too that they just picked up on the uh, the PA. But they're gonna go rush because. You know, that's that's, that takes some discipline right there. The, thi the thing is, though, it, it, it goes back to, like, I, I actually think, once again, this is, they have a 90% chance of winning this game if they just keep the PA alive. So yeah. why the hell not just get an Aegis? Like, it, it, makes, it makes a lot of sense. Like, I feel like even though you're two racks down, you still don't, even if there's Megas, you still don't feel that pressure to to end the game because you know that at, at a certain point you just run down mid, take a fight, win, they have no buybacks, then you take the throne, but you have two rapiers. Like, they have an Axe consumable. Who, they, who did they get that to? Gunner's got... Refresher. Let's see. Eggs. Sand King? Sand King's got Pretty solid on Sand King. He's got uh, a, the extra range. Yeah, he's also got himself the um, Sheep Stick, too. Yeah. Alright, Gunner. Lots of Disable. I feel like, he, yeah, he's going to want to jump on Golem immediately. That Link gets popped, though. And they're going right past those racks. You can't stop this. Okay, they do have buybacks now. They have buyback now. You've got the Rubik buying back. Death Prophet's up. You're going to have the Oracle up. They need to get going, though. They need to make things happen now if they want to be able to do this. You Gunner. can't wait. Yeah, they're going to go right on in there. Golem has got the BKB up. If they can kill this PA, it's going to be huge for them. They'll be able to go. They pop the Aegis. He's coming right back up again. They've got the Ghost. They need to have that lockdown. They need to make sure that they silence him up so he can't run himself away. And he's going to go right back there. They get the kill over onto Sexy Man. Arms, he's getting sliced up into pieces right now as he tries to get the jump over onto the Oracle. Oracle's still alive though, has himself that Ghost after. We'll turn right back around again. This is absolute chaos, Jenkins. They're going to turn right back around. Arms, they deal with the Laguna. It's going to do so much damage. They need to get some healing out over onto this Death Prophet as fast as possible. Duster, he jumps forward. That's a brave little Rubik as they're going to chase after MJW with Golem. Golem has to be so careful. If he's not careful, they're going to be able to take him down. They've got the Sheep coming through. Husky has the Burrow Strike. It's going to be a double kill coming out. There's going to be a buyback from the Morphling Duster running himself away. He needs to help Arms out now, and he needs to do it fast, but that's a beautiful finger AoE coming out. They get the Steel Duster. He's going to get taken down. He does not have the buyback. They'll be able to get that kill. They get the kill over Arms. Arms. Another buyback Fort coming out. No. Golem, he's fighting. They're trying. They go, and they drop all of those rapiers. They need to get this out. Can they run this little lion out? No, he's going to get taken down. Oh, they had Fort for the Creep Wave, and they didn't use it. Oh, no, they don't have Fort for the Creep Wave. That's Scan. No, they didn't have Fort. There's nothing you can do there. You just lose the Rapiers. That is two Rapiers, I believe, going over to Golem now. Oh, yeah, they lost. There's no coming back. No Ooh. way. That's a 12,000 gold swing. <laughs> no way. Morphling has, like, a thousand damage. Every single person has bought back now. <sighs> I've had way too much Red Bull today for this to be the... <laughs> For this to be the game that we're watching. Oh my word! Or ge sorry, generic uh, energy drink. That generic has energy not, drink, right? Uh, sponsored this event. You can sponsor this event, though. Go for it. Yeah. We won't tell you now. Gonna he wants it back. I don't think that. I don't think you can fight this. I mean. They're gonna try. I guess so. You really need your... Lion? Okay. The jump forward, the Hex, the Lotus Orc is thrown out. Husky's trying to get that stuff. He's got the Silence off. They'll be able to go to start the PA. She's got the BKB. She wants those rapiers back. She's going to try to keep going. Trying to fight Golem here. And Gunner, he's just too deep into this base. This is not looking good for him right now as the DP. She's got all those ghosts going off over on the side. Husky's taking a lot of damage. They've got the Aphotic Shield on him. As Mario also trying to run himself away from arms. And they'll be able to go use that Burrow Strike. And it's going to be able to walk themselves out, I think, now. Ooh. Morphling was just sitting on like 6,000 HP in that fight. Unkillable. Those Greaves kill us. They have to go back and defend Dyer's Throne. They gotta. They're losing this last tower, otherwise it's gonna be a naked throne. 
Yeah, naked throne, one Jeez. racks away from getting megas. I feel like if you're S SG, you can just run down the bot lane and take megas right now. Are you, are you really that worried about losing Morphling? You don't even need to put the Morphling up front. You can just put the Death Prophet there. He's got enough armor. There's not much damage now that the Rapiers are gone. It's like the Lina and the Sand King. If you can stop those heroes, you're Gucci. I, I think Death Prophet's tanky enough. I believe. They're literally just like sitting in trees defending, defending the racks, which is what you have to do. It's unfortunate when there's one or axe left. So refresher or picked up for the Death Prophet Neon Discord Tuster because he keeps getting exploded. Yeah, this is a game of getting like one shot if you're yeah. a support. It feels bad, man. I'm telling you, somebody's got to get a blade mail on one of these teams. It's like, it's like Abaddon Spirit Breaker. Who was it? Was it? It was like some mail, right? Radiant like a while back scan. that uh, he got himself the the blade mail after losing the rapier and was able to come back. I think he was like playing sniper or something. Yeah, awesome. He got sniper blade mail. Yeah, it was like everyone's like, "What is he doing?" And that like, sounds like the Sue mail. It worked right though. It worked. All right, they're all smoked up. They're looking for an opening. They've got links online. MJW has two second cooldown on the dragon slave. This guy's actually got so much out push right now. But like. Gosh. Got the Agnum Scepter consumable right. too. I'm gonna try to get the jump over here on the Mara. They'll throw him right back down over to the low ground here. Get stunned up. They've got the Lotus Orb. We'll pop that ultimate arms. He's feeling pretty strong right now. He's just gonna go try to get these Megas over here. And then again, they'll pop Mario. That is what I expected earlier into the game. A little bit earlier. There's, so many there's, there's, there's not much that you can do about this. Big creep wave getting sent home though right now. Oh, Gunner BKB comes out. He's gonna get bashed up and he's gonna try to run himself out. Duster, he gets that lift. This could be able to take down Gunner. He's down for 123 seconds. I think that might be game. Yeah, this one's a buzzer beater, but it's definitely over now. Buzzer uh, beater. There's, uh, let's see. I, I thought that before though. Gunner. Ooh, and the tip. Gunner does not have buyback for three minutes, 44 seconds. So. Hey, he put on one hell of a shot. I mean, the game's not over. Of course, Anything of course. can happen, but it's not feeling real good there's right a now. Lot here, bang, on, bang. There's a lot right now in Husky and MJW to press their spells like perfectly in this fight. If and we want to They've got like Lotus Orbs, they've got Link, they got all sorts of things, and they've got the Sustain. I guess Wolf at this point is also a core. He's got the eight fingers of death. Uh, True. They have damage. They need to burst like one people while stunning three You gotta others. get Golem and you gotta get the Death Prophet. Like, and Sexy Fast thing. just... Husky channels up the epicenter. They'll go and get that off over immediately, but there's gonna be the save coming out from the Oracle as they'll turn their attention right over onto MJW. They'll take him down now. Husky trying to run himself out. Not gonna be able to. The GG gets called. Bang Bang put on one hell of a show, specifically Gunner. Well, MJW, he still manages to get himself that Morphling, but the GG has, of course, been called. SG 